So I have found an interesting correlation between family civility at holidays and liquor consumption. Yes, it seems, and this is anecdotal, this is sheerly from my own study of one family, that the more alcohol that's involved, the more likely politics will come up and red-faced, vein-bulging screaming will occur. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. I recently went to an Easter dinner, and I am delighted to say that almost no one got tossed. And I say almost. The question was raised, who do you support? Who do you support? Who do you support? Why? Well, the only thing we could all come to an agreement on was that Ted Cruz is a crazy person. I don't know if it's just because everyone who's ever met him hates him. I don't know if it's just because he looks like Grandpa Munster despite being 45. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But we could all agree he's just the worst. Now, uh, that meant a lot of my family had no choice but to support Tronald. Yes, Ronald McDonald Trump. He's orange like a clown, and his skin is so thin. He wants to, you know, sue everyone who speaks ill of him, even when they do so truthfully. He's just a terrible human being. But he's huge, and he's worth $10 billion, according to him, and no one else. Bloomberg puts him at, I think... Four, three or four billion. The highest outside estimate, even looking at his uh, financial disclosure, is in the three to four billion range. That's still billionaire territory. That's still billionaire territory. But if I say I've got a thousand dollars, and in fact you find out I've only got three hundred or four hundred, you're going to be, you're going to find me to be dishonest. And if you then look at it and say, well, how much of that is actually cash? And I say, ooh, about a hundred bucks. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to hopefully find me as dishonest as Tronald is. So anyway, it was great. Uh, we were able to discuss various issues. We were able to agree on many things, despite knowing where one another stood. And that's largely because, though the liquor was flowing, it wasn't flowing at such a speed, at such a velocity or volume, as to drown anyone in their dogmatic stupidity. Now, there was one exception. It was a cousin who will vote for he would vote for a steaming bag of crap over Hillary or Bernie because Hillary and Bernie want to take your guns away. Well, good news, good news my friend. It looks like you do have a choice between Hillary or Bernie and a steaming bag of crap, specifically Ronald McDonald Tronald Trump. Yeah, that's not a bad deal. I mean, everybody wins. You get what you want, you know. But I should clarify that Hillary and Bernie do not want to take your goddamn guns away. He's a hunter. And I would assume, having eaten some of the meat he's killed, he's a reasonably good hunter. They don't want to take your gun away. Imposing universal background checks on people who, who are willing to pay three times the sticker price to buy a gun from someone who doesn't do a background check, that's not taking your gun away. That's getting the guns out of the hands of the people who have no business having them in the first place. There are, well, the Second Amendment shall not be abridged, right? Right. Right. Well, the Second Amendment is the one that defends all the other amendments. Right. Right. Except it isn't, and it doesn't. You know, there's an amendment before the Second Amendment. It's the First Amendment, the one to free speech, which 
Donald would like to curtail a bit. And free assembly, which we all know has been curtailed. I mean, you can't you can't freely assemble anywhere you want. You can't protest anywhere you want. There are free speech zones, sometimes miles away from the place where anyone will see you. Uh, there are, even constitutional freedoms have limitations. And, you know, the whole, well, people on the do not fly list should be able to buy guns. Should they? Should they? I mean, you're asking the wrong question. Why are people on the list? That's something we need to address. People should be able to get off the list if they don't need to be on it. But some of them are on it for a reason. And currently, thanks to the NRA and the Republicans who gladly gobble their floppy donkey dicks, they are still able to legally purchase guns. And it's fine. It's fine. We can ban them if we want. They can just go buy a gun from literally anybody else at any time, under any circumstances. There's no restriction. So pretending that the Democrats want to come and took your guns is dishonest at best, but at worst, and at what I think most likely, is that it's a tool by which you are being manipulated. If your single issue is don't tuck her guns, you're going to vote for the wrong guy. You're going to vote for somebody who you disagree with 90% of the time because you happen to agree with him or her 10% of the time. Single issue voting is the dumbest thing kind of ever because if it, once politicians recognize that you are a single issue voting block, all they have to do is pay lip service and they can count on your vote. All they need is four or five such blocks of, you know, well, I've got the I've got the pro-gun, I've got the anti-abortion, I've got the anti-gay, I've got the anti-immigration. Right there, I'm at 40%. Well, that's what Ronald McDonald, Toronto Trump is counting on. And it looks like he's going to lose and lose badly. Not just that, he's going to get, he's going to, he's going to experience something he hasn't in a very long time. He's going to get his ass whipped by a girl. So, chew on that, Trumpanauts. <laughs>